Dogs have bitten five people, including a police officer. Our Anita Blanton is on the scene right now with the latest on what's happening with those dogs and the people who are injured. Anita? Well, Don, the first call came out about 1052, and I'm standing here right now, uh, right where it took place behind me on uh, the street here in Hampton, where you can see uh, there are still several police officers on the scene right now uh, trying to put the pieces together of what took place. Now, Sergeant Jason Price of the Hampton Police Department is with me right now to kind of uh, lay out what's taken place and where we are. Sure, like you said, around 1052 a.m. this morning, we responded to a wireless 911 call in reference to a vicious canine. Upon arrival, the officers discovered that these two canines had already attacked two civilians and a mail carrier, and they were both, all three bit, were bitten. Um, once the officers tried to secure the canines for quarantine, one of the canines turned and attacked both an animal control officer and a police officer. Both were actually bitten. As a result, the police officer that was on scene discharged his firearm, killing the canine. At that point, the officers continued to try and take the other canine, tried to secure them, and we were able to do that. And that, that canine is currently, currently being quarantined. Okay, so we have five people that were bitten by the dogs. What's the nature of their injuries? All on their extremities, legs, and arms um, all appear to be non-life-threatening, thankfully. And they've been taken to the hospital? Yes, they were transported by uh, ambulance to local hospital. Okay, let's talk about the fact that um, during all of this, uh, Bassett Elementary was put on lockdown? Sure, Bell Street actually is right in front of Bassett Elementary School. And as a precautionary method, as soon as the call came in, officers put the school on lockdown. All the kids were secured for uh, precautionary methods. And once the second canine was secured, we uh, lifted the lockdown. Okay, and what kind of dog was this, or dogs were they? Both canines were pit bulls. All right, so uh, at this point in time, one dog is dead, another dog uh, has been quarantined, and what's going on behind us right now? We're just in the final stages of finishing up the crime scene, photographing, collecting evidence, and that sort of thing, and we should be done here in the next few minutes. Charges pending? Yes, ma'am, we are currently investigating the owners for potential charges. Um, do we already know who the owners are? We do have the owners, and they are on scene. All right. Thank you. Uh, Sergeant Jason Price of the Hampton Police Department getting us up to date on what's taken place. Again, that first call coming out about 1052 uh, for two dogs that were here on Bell Street. Uh, one of them dead, another one that has been quarantined. Five people with injuries, but they've all been uh, non-life threatening injuries. We'll continue to stay out here, ask some more questions of people in this area, and we'll report back to you later on in the day. For now, in Hampton, Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.